I was a little boy on a reservation laughing when my little brother or cousins got bucked off, but not so much laughing when I got bucked off. <laughs> we used to chase the shadows that the clouds had made across the prairie, pretending we were hunting buffalo. We played the outlaws that, such as Billy the Kid, the James Gang, all of them, because then we understood that they were standing and fighting for the rights and the freedoms of people. So we admired them. But we were kind of outlaws ourselves. And I remember the first time I went to the fire and I watched that fire dance. It took me back to a time. And then I watched myself grow from that. I remember as a youngster putting branding irons in the fire, waiting for them to heat up. And at times I would go to the fire and I would put cedar in the fire as a prayer for my people. I stood at the fire and drank a cup of coffee. And I stood at that same fire holding eagle feathers. I come to understand what it means to be a representative and to stand in the sight of God. I do, I do know there is a God. Well, God is the only one who probably ever saw my best bronc rides ever. <laughs> but God was the only one there to pick me up when I got bucked off and to help me along. God sees it all. And I understand and know that. And in spite of what we endure and go through, we are warriors, and we are cowboys, and we keep smiling. <clears throat> and I'm thankful to the higher power, whether we call whatever name we have for the higher power, whether it's God, Allah, Jehovah, Wachantika, it's still the same creator of all creation. And I come to understand to be an advocate for this higher power because I want to one day be welcomed home and I have to understand what it means to even have that door open for me and that means to live with an understanding with my brothers and sisters of all walks of life and all creation. Well, it is apparent that the higher power is the one who created diversity from the very get-go. If it weren't so, then we would all be one race of people, it would only be one species of trees and one species of mammals with four legs, but it's very apparent that God is the one who loves diversity. It is time that we come to this understanding and be the living prayer versus just saying the prayer. It is the way of the Western heritage, it is the way of the Indian culture. It is to be the prayer, to be the example. I conduct my life as I stand before you. I am very humbled. And I'm very vulnerable. But I will never take my heart off my sleeve because that's where I want God to see it. And I want you to see it also. Love one another. Protect each other. Remember, it is not a moment that we are judged by. It is the life and how we leave others and how we care for each other. I dedicate this award to my nephew, Cole Brinks Plenty. He was my mini-me, and I still love him. But he was my smile, too. And I'm thankful to my wife and my family and friends and each and every one of you, and to the museum, to the Western Heritage Awards. Thank you to my dear friend, Wyatt, my brothers, and 
everyone, my sisters, to everyone, Jennifer, who I got to present with, my brother, Mike Murph, thank you. Life's good. Life is good. I want to say thank you real quickly to Teton Ridge and to others that are starting to open up the door for the American Indian culture to be presented in parallel along the Western culture because and we are parallel and we are one. It is not a party that makes the country great. It's the American people. So continue to be American. And let's all stand together. Thank you. Thank you.